AM Studios brought to you by Old Mutual. AM Studios by Old Mutual in Newtown is an innovative space where aspiring musicians have access to world-class recording studios, coffee and advice from South Africa's leading financial service provider. Today, John Manike from Old Mutual discusses how AM Studios is benefiting aspiring musicians in South Africa. M Studios is a knowledge hub where Old Mutual has created a platform for young people to tap into the knowledge you know, of some of the top music icons that we host in this precinct. We have um, a state-of-the-art music recording studio um, at M Studios, which is accessible to young people. And of course, there are terms and conditions, and which are very simple. I mean, of course, we encourage young people to um, subscribe also by having a money account. I mean, um, if we're talking from affordability point of view, it's as little as 4 95 per month, um, you know, to actually have the account um, open and active. Um, but that on its own qualifies you to the entire facility. But not only that, I think for me, the most important thing is the fact that we break that barrier and make it possible for young people to engage with some of the top artists um, in this country who will share some of their learnings in their journey towards building their career in music. I mean, we're talking uh, the likes of your DJ Tira, uh, your Cuesta, um, DJ Fresh, that uh, day Sipawat Sticks Mabuse, Me Yvonne Chaka Chaka. I mean, the list is long. I mean, the list is, is endless. I mean, we always invite these big uh, music icons to sh come and share their wisdom with young people. And then of course this is recorded and it's always available on YouTube. So M Studios is definitely a, a, a good place to start off I mean, as, a, as a young and upcoming artist to actually uh, visit um, because you actually get to ask questions directly. But in this studio we actually give um, um, young and aspiring artists who come into this precinct an opportunity to pose questions directly to these uh, uh, music icons um, and they, they, they certainly do answer. So it's such a great place which pre presents lots of opportunities for, for young people to learn, um, you know, and especially the level of detail that is shared here, whether we talk, we've got somebody in a master class talking about the, the contracting part uh, in the music industry, whether it's about um, you know, the royalties, but there are a whole lot of things that get shared in this studio. So, you know, for artists who are in this precinct, I mean, you can uh, tap into the free Wi-Fi. If you want to look important, you can even host uh, uh, guests uh, in the boardroom there. Of course, there is a booking system and you can use the, you know, the studio downstairs. I mean, you know, if you want to uh, shoot some videos there, there's podcast facilities. A um, whole host of things that you can do. I mean, we've got the best coffee in the house. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't think of, you know, why any young artist wouldn't want to be in this place. I mean, especially given such power, uh, especially from a knowledge point of view that you actually find in this place. So what seems to be the trend with some of these big icons who come here, I mean, and what they share with us is that some of the biggest mistakes in their careers happen early, um, especially when it comes to signing contracts. Because of the excitement of now getting this big breakthrough of signing with a big record label and they jump into it and they sign a contract and later on they realize actually um, it's, it's not the best contract. Um, it doesn't really serve their interest. Um, and that's why it's important, I mean, to, to actually make sure you consult. Very, very important to understand what it means and what you're signing. Um, um, and, and, and these are some of the things that people can learn uh, by, by coming here um, from, from these artists so that you don't have to repeat the same mistakes. The other thing also that's important is really, especially when it comes to handling money, you can actually uh, commit a financial suicide, you know, by spending the money without a plan and not actually having the best advice when it comes to financial planning. That's very important for many artists. You have to think as an artist that um, just because you've got a couple of big hits today doesn't mean that tomorrow you continue having those big hits. At some point, um, you might still be in the music industry, but it doesn't mean that you will still be hitting those high notes. Um, you know, that will actually make you smile all the way to the bank. 
to avoid that, you make sure that in your days while things are going well, you actually save, but you also, more importantly, invest in other things. Uh, make sure that you diversify streams of income. The days of relying on a single income are over, and this is precisely what we've learned this year uh, with the pandemic. Um, a lot of artists realizing that, well, I'm relying on gigs, and if there are no gigs, it means there's no income. I think people need to learn from this year. It doesn't mean this might be the last pandemic we'll ever experience uh, globally. So, but to avoid the same uh, situation, make sure that you diversify your streams of income, make sure you save for, for rainy days, make sure you, you invest your money in other things um, so that you, beyond music, you've got other uh, opportunities to actually generate uh, income and to build a legacy and create wealth. If you're wondering how to protect your most valuable assets, the time is now to visit oldmutual.co.za to learn more about their personalized cover by Old Mutual. And if you're ready to start your career at Amp Studios, visit ampstudios.co.za to learn more or join their WhatsApp line by sending your name to 081-707-6636 and become a part of the Amp family. Amp Studios brought to you by Old Mutual.